St. Clement's Church, Leon C, Essex, seemingly insignificant among the many churches in the borough of Southend-on-Sea. However, this is the site of the final resting place of one of the most influential Royal Naval families in British history. Mention the name of Haddock, and many would think of the hapless Captain Haddock, best friend of Hergé's Tintin. But it is from this family that Hergé drew his inspiration. The Haddock family are thought to have arrived in the Lee area about the 14th century, during the reign of Edward III. Captain Richard Haddock was a captain in the Parliamentary Navy. Records show that he commanded the ship Victory in 1642. He died in 1660, aged 79. Richard's eldest son, William, also became a parliamentary captain. His younger son, also Richard, was commended during the Dutch Wars. Both William and Richard's sons served in various officer posts. One of William's sons, another Richard, entered the Navy at a young age, probably the most famous of the Haddock dynasty. He went on to rise to the rank of Admiral. Territories against the Empire's enemies, Admiral Richard Haddock was his name. He jumped off from a burning deck and lived to save his noble neck, appointed to another ship of fame. His fame among the Empire spread, King Charles II capped his head, became the leader of the English fleet. Haddock was his name This song tells the history Of Richard Haddock on the sea Though some years of his life He served on land Spent some years in Parliament In long debates and arguments Was reappointed leader of the fleet There he served until he died In the year 1715 Was buried in St Clement's on sea. Sir Richard's son Nicholas attained rank Admiral of the Blue. Nicholas's son was also known to have served in the Navy. Exactly what became of the Haddock's family from this point is not known. It would be nice to know if there are any Haddocks out there. Haddock was his name 
much admired by every man Had a character named after him Tintim's Captain Haddock was his name 